that's just the way it is. It's such a crappy excuse. And yet, I think most of us actually are okay with that. We think that there is no other way. And we just simply look at that and we're like, hey, that's just the way it is. That's how things actually are. And, you know, there's there's a truth to that to some degree that, you know, there's there's some natural elements to the way things actually are. But you can change that. You can impact that. And that was my belief with the Reciprocity Project is, you know, looking at looking at um, all of the things that are available and the sort of struggles that it took for myself to get through and to do things, um, you know, to get through, to, to do research, to, you know, feel motivated, to feel like I want to get up, feel like I want to belong. Um, I'm not the only one, <laughs> you know, there's an awful lot of people like that and and we just kind of deduce that that is the way it is that's the only thing that we can do is to say this is how things are and if that's the case then we simply just kind of go with it but i don't like that excuse at all i think i can build something i could do something that will change that no it runs me into some troubles because I actually just want to fix it, right? Like, I think that we can change it. I think we want it. We can. But part of the reason the way it is is because, you know, people see... Um, so part of the reason is that there's no desire or will to build something. And people see that there's, like, you know, things like conflict of interest. I talked about that the other day in my YouTube channel. Um, you know, like all of these kind of things. And I don't take that as an excuse. I just get up and do that, right? Like, or, you know, it costs too much money. Well, yeah, okay. You know, um, but there's a lot of things in this world that cost a lot of money. And you still do it anyways. Right? Like, there's just so many things that we could do and we can make it better for everybody else. And and I think about, like, why don't we do these kind of things? Why do we default to, that's just the way it is. This is the only, this is, this is how things are going to be. And so there's a whole world of people that are sitting there suffering because the market is mismatched there's a market failure in getting things done and and we just default to that right like i think that's such a silly thing i mean i think about all of all the wonderful inventions that have existed or have been created it's always at that moment where somebody gets fed up and they're like i'm gonna change this you know i'm actually going to make a difference i'm actually going to start doing some sort of action thing that solves this problem and then they stick their neck out um and they don't know how to figure it out but they do it right they become the one person that's actually doing it and everybody else is sitting there on the sidelines and and then after you know a very long time then People recognize it as it is. I, you know, it's it's such a, I just don't like that excuse. And I do realize I'm, I'm absolutely aware of all of the challenges that you face as you go through things, right? You're trying to figure things out, trying to sort of carve things so that you don't get into trouble or get thrown into jail or, you know, anything like that. Um, you know, you just, you just get up and you get going and you try to figure it out as you get going. Um, and, and sometimes you get those things wrong and sometimes you get those things right. But 
you need to look at the world and say, I'm going to change this. You know, it's like um, Starbucks, for example. America had terrible coffee, and it wasn't good. It just wasn't good. And Starbucks sat there. The, you know, the people that were involved, Howard Schultz, sat there and looked at it and was like, we can change this. We can make things better. And we just have to jump on it. We actually have to make this thing better. And um, they just jumped on it, right? And, and, you know, the rest is kind of history. And I think much of the things around us, we can do that. We can solve those problems. But we choose not to because we default to. That's just the way it is. And you look at all the, the the issues that exist in this world and you just default to. That's just the way it is. Right? Instead of trying to figure it out and try to come up with some sort of solution that is helpful. I don't know. I just get, I get really bummed out or frustrated with that but yet that's the default to what everybody wants to do I, I, and i don't know why people want to default to that i think yes it's it's difficult yes it's challenging yes there's all these issues that you face along the way but man you sure as heck can make a difference in this world if you start pursuing those things that everybody else is looking at and saying that's just the way it is. Um, you just simply have to jump on it. And when you do that, all of a sudden, things change. Maybe for the worse, <laughs> but things change. Because you're actually impacting the world. and putting a little bit of pressure on the world. So, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Alright, take care. And have a wonderful day.